polygons. A polygon is formed by a closed polygonal line and the space inside it. To understand what that means, watch this straight line become a polygonal line as it forms several sides which eventually close. And what do you see? A polygon. Easy, right? A polygon is made of several elements. The side is each one of the segments that form the polygon. The vertex is the point where two sides meet, a corner, and the angle is the space formed between two sides that meet at a point. There are many kinds of polygon, so we classify them in different ways. The first classification we can make is if they are regular or irregular polygons. A polygon is regular if all its sides and angles measure the same as each other. In these images you can see all the polygons are regular, the sides and the angles are the same. On the other hand, these polygons are irregular because their sides and angles are not equal. Another way to classify polygons is by the number of sides they have. Polygons with three sides are called triangles. Those with four sides are called quadrilaterals. And with five sides, they're called pentagons. With six sides, hexagons, and so on. There are many more. Now, let's find the polygons in these pictures. Look carefully. Can you see any polygons? Good. As you can see, the pyramid, the boat sails, these buildings, and the panels of this hive where bees make their sweet honey are all polygons. So, let's remember the important things about polygons. A polygon is formed by a closed polygonal line and the space inside it. A polygon has several elements, sides, corners or vertices, and angles. A polygon is regular if all its sides are the same length and all its angles are equal. And a polygon is irregular if the sides or angles are not equal. Polygons can be classified by the number of sides they have. If they have three sides, they're triangles. If they have four sides, they're quadrilaterals. If they have five sides, they're pentagons. And if they have six sides, they're hexagons. So, now we know about polygons. Interesting, don't you think? Goodbye for now, everybody. And don't forget to subscribe to Happy Learning.